Fate has spoken, but is she certain? Once the choice is made, there's no turning back. Well, that was easier than I thought. It's the only way this scene can end. The ending the book deserves. <clears throat> As I was saying... What was that? No more interruptions! The tremors were getting more violent. Please! I'm in the middle of my astonishing denouement! Everyone in town thinks a madman spouting wild theories about aliens and hidden forces at work in Arthur. But all the strange phenomena he's seen are real. And the culprits are men, not monsters. My suspicions were first raised when I heard a strange radio broadcast by the later I heard the same message in a room hidden beneath the forgotten forest. I uncovered the secret laboratories of Professor Zazer. He ran experiments to study the unique properties of Arthurton's resource, and his research was funded by a shady organization called the Council of Three. One of those machines is causing the power outages around town. It's the reason we have a curfew, despite what Arthurton Power and Light would have us believe. A giant machine! hidden somewhere in Arthurton. I don't fully understand it, but something happened to the whole town. And wherever we were, we aren't there anymore. The rest of the world think we disappeared. At first, I thought I was solving two separate mysteries, but then it hit me like a ton of used books. The two were inextricably linked, and that's how I know your motive for staging the Dean's death. machines, all under the watchful eye of the Council of Three. The Dean is part of the Council of Three. His ring hides a key to access secret stations around town. Through her own investigation, Mom concluded that Dad had died when she confronted the Dean. Racked with guilt, he confessed. Instead of letting anger cloud her judgment, Mom saw an opportunity. And together, you concocted a plan to bring down the organization from the inside. Oh, what a brilliant mind you have, Jenny Lacou. Julie, I believe you... You could have gotten yourself killed. But I didn't. But what if you had? I'm not a kid anymore. A flower cannot... Jenny had risked everything to save her mom. I... I'm sorry, Jenny. It's okay, Mom. You were running out of time to save me. I was trying to protect you. I know. <sighs> I should have trusted you. But you were wrong. I just apologize. No, not about that. Everyone presumed Dad died, and so did I. Until today. But then, I started finding secret messages all they over. They led me to a secret room under the graveyard. And there, on a small television, I saw him. Henry? Dad is alive! But he's trapped on the other side, and he's been trying to contact us this whole time. He made it back? Then the experiment worked! Exactly! But if he made it back... We can all get back! We need to get to the machine. Right away. No! First, we need to find Professor Zazer. 